Speaking of speaking of Breakfast Club, though, he wasn't the only person on the Breakfast Club uh, talking about AEW. Mercedes Monet, formerly known as Sasha Banks, was also on the Breakfast Club and talking about the AEW product versus the WWE product. And she said that AEW shouldn't focus on chasing WWE and be its own product. Do you believe that AEW has been doing this so far? Or do you think that they've just been kind of like chasing WWE, if that makes sense? Oh, absolutely. We've seen it right in the wall the past three years or so when they said they weren't trying to be like WWE. They established this company to be to differentiate themselves from them. But, you know, they, they follow certain trends to a certain degree. But I will say, actually, I'll say in the past two years, it's been like, okay, what's going on? far as the booking mm. and the story idea. So that defer that definitely separates themselves because with the E, you could pick an individual storyline that kinda entertains you. Not lately, other than, you know, the Yeet Mania going wild and Jay finally <laughs> getting the IC title. But otherwise than that, it's kinda like American uh Alpha that's slowing down with them versus the Y six. The Y six ain't been showing up, so they gotta get them some motion again before it gets stale. Uh Finn versus Damian Priest, I think they got to – that should be coming to a halt. Uh, I said the bloodline, when was that, two years ago, shouldn't have ended. I think last year I said that. It shouldn't have ended, like, last year. Uh, yeah, last year the bloodline stuff is just stale. Uh, mm. That's really – they they try to say it's the knife ending. No, no, we, we about there because there's nothing else you can really do <laughs> after this. until When The Rock come back, then maybe – because he has been by far the most entertaining thing that happened to that storyline this year. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I think right now people have to be cognizant too. This is their off season. You can tell by how raw it is. It, it's their off season. Mm-hmm. Just AEW as well, really more so than, you know, than WWE. No, nah, WWE more so than AEW. This is their off season. Because once football comes back, especially considering football is on probably five times a week, yeah, the ratings are up, but not like that. And then basketball right. season about to come, about to start. Yeah, it's about to be quiet for me in wrestling anyway. Like, I'll be knowing what's going <laughs> on, but to a certain degree. I agree. Um, I think that when it comes to AEW, just the fact that – the fact that AEW – has so much television time dedicated to just professional wrestling matches. Not necessarily promos, not necessarily segments. The segments are very quick. It's like da 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 and then we're done. And so I think that AEW has done a really good job of differentiating themselves from the WWE product by putting a very, very big emphasis on the in-ring product. And we saw that when they did the Will MJF match for 60 Minutes, we're seeing how, you know, fifth anniversary show, they're already putting on Will and Ricochet. Like, this is a very in-ring centric company, and they do a very, very good job in making that very, very known. So I think that Mercedes is right that they should continue to focus on that. I also feel like AEW is kind of actually hitting their stride a little bit again, in the sense that the program is a little bit more compelling than it was this time last year. Because you do have, I think, we, you know, we talked about the whole story aspect, right? You do have stories. Hangman and Swerve is a great story, right? Like, but then you also have the in-ring matches. You also have that stuff. So you're getting a good mix of stuff when it, when you tune into AEW, when it pertains to, like, storyline stuff versus more stuff that's, like, in-ring focus. But it's just a matter of the star power kind of having to kind of reestablish itself because I feel like they still took a big hit when they lost CM Punk. And so they're still kind of reeling and recovering from that. But I think that Mercedes is right that they should continue to kind of make that distinction between themselves and AEW, uh, themselves and WWE. But I want to know how everybody else feels regarding this, uh, about, regarding Mercedes' entire Breakfast Club appearance, but more so specifically the differentiation between AEW and WWE. Thank you guys so much for watching the Culture 316 podcast. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you guys can stay up to date with all upcoming videos and events pertaining to Culture 316.